What's up, guys? I am here live in Miami with Chris Johnstone. Hey, everybody. Uh, he came down to the Miami office, the Miami studio. We're shooting some videos specifically for you guys. Unpacking this whole concept of the, the concierge model. Yes. Right? And he, he explained this to me in one of our interviews for the podcast on how he was able to grow his business by almost over a million dollars in, in, in revenue, generated additional $800,000 in profitability by putting a concierge in place, putting an appointment center in place to, to follow up on his customers' leads. Yeah. Um, and I was like, that sounds pretty interesting. And so as I was doing the interview, I knew it was going to be good. And so I, I, sh I shared it with Sean Clark from High Level. I was like, hey, Sean, look what he's doing on High Level here um, and like how he's impacted the retention rate of his client base. And he shared it out. We like just got blown up <laughs> with agencies asking follow-up questions, wanting to learn more. Um, and so... I was like, you know, this sounds really interesting. We got to get Chris down to, to kind of unpack this further. So we're spending the whole day creating some content specifically for you guys on what the opportunity is, right? Yep. Um, how to approach it, kind of what the model looks like, uh, and more importantly, like how to install this in your business to retain at a higher level, to generate more tangible, measurable results for the clients that you serve, um, to create an additional stream of profitable revenue I think we, we'd all be pretty excited about. Um, can you give them the Cliff Notes version on this, Chris? Yeah. You know, this is specifically for the Seven Figure Agency members, right? So, um, for sure. So, when we walk them through it? So, okay, yeah, for sure. So, what we started with this morning was talking about the gap. And this is something that we discovered in our agency that made a huge difference because right now, we're really focused on leads. We're doing Facebook ads, we're doing Google ads, we're doing SEO, we're doing all of the agency services and, and we still do. But what we were doing is we were sending all of our leads over to the business and they were all falling into this gap. So our clients weren't staying with us long enough and it was a huge pain point of retaining people because they would come in for 90 days, tell us that the leads were no good and we'd have all this customer service issues and ultimately people would cancel. And so, out of frustration one day, I actually started calling the leads. <laughs> and, and we were able to actually book appointments, talk to really good quality leads. And what I realized is that the business owner is not a professional appointment center. They are a plumber, they're a mortgage professional, they are the person who is good at what they're doing. We shouldn't be expecting them to be really good at lead follow-up. We shouldn't be expecting them to actually know how to turn a lead into a sales appointment. And so we installed the concierge. And what that concierge ends up doing is building a bridge between you and your business and the results that your client gets because a professional concierge actually turns the leads into appointments. And what we discovered is that it's roughly double. So right now, however many leads you're turning into appointments through automations, through the text messages and the emails and all of that, when you add a concierge, it basically doubles the results that you generate for your clients. So we went through that. And so I would love to hear from you guys in the comments here. How many of you guys feel like there's some, some business being lost in the gap? Yeah. And feel like you could retain higher if you could create that bridge? Just, you know, put the gap in comments if you feel like that's a reality. Absolutely. And then one other thing that I think is really cool to share, um, not necessarily about the gap, but was what happened in our business. Because I was really worried about hiring the concierge, like, can my agency afford this? Is this going to be a huge expense? Am I just going to waste a bunch of money on trying to implement this? So I had the concierge come in and we proved the model for two weeks by calling our clients leads. But then I had the concierge call my customers and I had the concierge call my past consults that I had done that hadn't turned into deals. They booked me all of the sales appointments that I needed to actually sell the program and then the concierge actually delivered the program for it as well. So uh, we've got some good training on that that we unpack as well. Um, and one, I guess, thing that I would want to hear if I was an agency owner watching this is about the results that we shared. So um, it's not on this presentation here because we've actually we put it into a video training, but I actually go through our agency results from the last year. So all the way back from January to December last year, and we look at how many sales presentations we actually did and how many of those sales presentations closed, and then how many sales we closed as a result of having a concierge that actually followed up with the sales presentations that I had already done. 
And it shocked me when we pulled the numbers from the accountant. Pretty staggering. Yeah. More than half of our sales have had a concierge agent on the follow-up after we've delivered the sales presentation. And the other thing that we've discovered is that we've more than doubled the sales that we're making on our webinar presentations and from the podcasts that we're running. We're actually doubling our sales by having a concierge. So not only is it generating far better results for our clients, it's actually generating a phenomenal result for us. And we talk about that in the training as well. So it's been a fantastic morning, so far. It's, <laughs> been, it's, good, it's been good. If you're excited to get this detail, I'm not gonna turn this into a 45 minute video, but he walks you through the concierge profit plan, which is really, you know, how much do you gotta pay the concierge? What do you charge for that? Do you charge per appointment? Do you charge a monthly fee? Do you charge for, for a, a packet of calls? And he's got a really good model that's given him scalability so that he can do that really, really cost effectively. Um, talks about the, you know, the big pocket of opportunity he had anticipated, which was not just calling the leads, but looking for referral pockets that you can call into and calling back the existing customer base. Um, and then the just just to stop right there. Yes, if you're not calling your clients past customers and referrals for them, you're leaving money on the table. They're leaving money on the table. It's a phenomenal way to generate a better result for your client. Sort of hop in. On no, that. no, so so good. Uh, the hiring model, like how do we find these people? How do we train them? How do we compensate them? How do we retain them so that they keep doing the job long term? Um, and ultimately, the ascension model. How you turn this from a couple hundred dollar a month service to the 10,000 plus per client monthly service. Yeah, that's right. So if you're interested in the possibilities of putting a call center behind your services and in kind of generating this additional stream of revenue and more importantly, transforming the results that you get for your clients, you're gonna to wanna to watch this training. It's, it's really good. So just put me in the comments if you're like excited to dive into this. Anything you want to add as we wrap up this quick live? Uh, questions. If you've got questions about the model, if you've got questions about what we're doing, or even you see a sticking point, like, hey, I've tried that before and this didn't go so well, I want to provide as much value to you and share all of the learnings that we have, and we can learn together. So if you have any questions about this model, just post them in the comments below. I'm happy to hop in there and answer those questions, or we might be able to get it into the video content that we do this afternoon. So if you post those out there, that would be awesome. And and, uh, and thank you so much. Good stuff, guys. Wish us luck. We're going to get back to work here. Thanks for joining us on this quick video.